Yep. Meantime, the superintendent also suggested that high school football may not even happen in the fall. It's a sentiment being shared by hundreds of coaches. That sentiment was revealed in a recent survey sent out across the country. Fox's David Centendry continues our coverage. David. Yeah, good evening, Heather. I think it's safe to say most people are concerned about the health of these student athletes, coaches, officials, the list goes on. But when you think about this decision, they say a lot of people say it's more than just the actual football game. Some life changing decisions are coming up. This could affect whether or not kids get to play this season and if they get a scholarship toward college next season. So a lot of moving parts as we inch closer to this high school football season. Will high school football be played in Texas this fall? It's a hot topic question and the Dallas ISD superintendent got a lot of attention when an MSNBC reporter asked him that. I seriously doubt it. I don't know. Dr. Michael Hinojosa is less than optimistic. I don't know. We're not in control of that. The University of Interscholastic League gives us guidance on that, but that's a true context sport. I don't see how we can pull that off. Headlines across the state and the nation citing the superintendent's response raise questions to a timely kickoff, and the superintendent is not alone. Football in the state of Texas is dealing with a variety of bad options. Greg Tepper, managing editor of Dave Campbell's Texas Football Magazine, is speaking of more than 500 Texas high school coaches who anonymously responded to a survey about the upcoming season. The majority are not confident that the season will start on time, and fewer believe that the season will be played in its entirety as scheduled. Coaches are generally pretty positive. So honestly, I was a little bit surprised by how generally kind of pessimistic or at least a little bit glass half empty uh, the Texas high school football coaches were. Ultimately, it's up to the University Interscholastic League to set guidelines for school districts. It previously asked teams to pause strength and conditioning programs surrounding the July 4th holiday, but recommends a reopening for this upcoming Monday. As for this fall, it says it will continue to work with state officials and monitor CDC and other federal guidance to determine any potential modifications. Yeah, when you take a look at the calendar and you take a look at the clock, we're running out of time. Dallas ISD's executive director of athletics, when asked Wednesday about athletics this school year, had this to say. It will look different than it has in 2019 for sure, but you know, safety comes first and the ultimate decision right now is how we're going to get them back in school. Oh, we asked Dr. Hinojosa for an interview to see if he had anything he wanted to add to his thoughts on football, but he declined. There's been some discussion of moving it to the spring, but we'll have to wait and see. I don't that survey shows Texas high school football coaches are pretty much split about possibly moving the season from the fall to the spring. 54% are against it. Now that survey also talked about fans in attendance, a wide range of answers. And the one with the most feedback shows that 43% of these high school coaches believe there will be fans in attendance, but at 50% capacity. And listen to this number, only 7% believe these games will be played at full capacity.